my loves, it's Lacey and welcome back to our space. So first of all, I'd like to send a huge thank you to everyone out there that sent prayers, well wishes, and love my way. You know that I have been recovering from that thing that we don't mention here on YouTube and I am fully recovered and so I will be going back to work in the hospital next week and I'm really happy about that. So thank you, thank you so much to everyone who checked in on me and sent me prayers. I know they helped. I feel very blessed. For this first DIY, we're gonna be using this big frame that I had just stashed away in my house. I took the backing out and it has a piece of foam board that I cut previously that goes underneath it. So we're going to move this. Okay, so what we're going to use for this DIY are these beautiful butterfly die cuts that I picked up from Dollar Tree not too long ago. So I'm going to pull a bunch out of these packets. This one has oranges and yellow colors um, with a little bit of tan and stuff on them. This one is dark and light pinks with a little bit of purple. And this one here is blues and greens, which is my favorite with a little bit of beige. And they all have some kind of gold foil on them at different areas of each butterfly. So let me pull out a bunch of these and then we are going to arrange them on this foam board and that's as hard as this DIY is. Okay, I decided that I didn't really want any of the pink ones. They're not my favorite and I don't really think they'll go where I want to put this. So I am going to do only the blue green ones and the kind of orangey yellowy ones. I think those look really good together. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the middle one and I could back this one because they are all white on the back, but it's not going to be super 3D. I'm just going to give it a slight bend just so it comes up off the paper just a little so it looks more realistic. And then I'm just going to glue it down to where I had it. And I'm using just regular hot glue because this is not going to be anywhere that I'll be messed with. And it is going in the picture frame. So I'm going to try to judge and then I'm just going to glue them all down in the same manner. do is we're going to take some floor wire and I have some loose pieces already but we're going to cut the rest of them and we are going to make the antenna for each one of our butterflies. The bigger one for the biggest one and then smaller ones for the other one. Some butterflies I did look up have really tiny antennas and then other ones have bigger ones so I'm just going to make it kind of according to the size of the butterflies. And to do this, I'm going to cut some floor wire. And you can use wire cutters for this, but the little Dollar Tree scissors work perfectly fine. I'm going to bend it in half and then straighten the pieces out. And then I'm going to curl the ends and to do that all I'm going to do is take the Dollar Tree scissors and wrap it around and turn them into little curls like that. And then I did not glue the heads of the butterflies down. I left a little space that only glued in their bodies. I'm just going to take a dab of hot glue and put the antenna underneath the head and glue it.
Okay, for this next DIY, I'm going to use this foam reform that I got from Dollar Tree. I have this Dollar Tree Moss Ribbon Roll. This is going to be the first time I'm going to utilize this. I'm hoping it's not going to be too messy. I pulled out a ton of the butterflies that came in the packs. I have more than one pack of the green blue ones. And then I also have some of the orangey yellow ones in here as well. I did not pull out any of the pink ones. And I have this greenery from Dollar Tree. I also have this greenery from Dollar Tree. And I have some of these Pussy Willows from Dollar Tree. I'm not sure I'm going to use any of them, but I have them just in case. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to roll it out. This is the first time I've ever used this. And I already knew it was going to be quite messy. It's actually peeling on this one. But what I'm going to try to do is wrap the reform in this moss ribbon. like and as you can see it's quite messy to work with but it actually gives it the look that I'm going for now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take it in my garage and spray it with a little bit of hairspray to keep it all set I was gonna spray it with spray adhesive but that'll take longer to dry and I think the hairspray will do it fine so pieces little bits won't fall off. So we're going to do that and then I'll be right back with it. Okay, here it is all sprayed with hairspray. You probably will lose a few other pieces, but it works a whole lot easier to work with it when you spray it down. You can do this in your house because hairspray is not toxic. You don't have to worry about like paint or um, spray adhesive fumes. So now what I have is a bunch of the butterflies like I showed you guys and I'm going to take the ones that match up pretty perfectly and glue them together. Now I'm not going to put any antennas on these because I don't think it needs it and it's for me. If you want to put antennas in it you can but I'm going to be using a lot of these and so I'm going to glue them to each other to give a more of a 3D effect and then I'm going to take and I'm going to bend the wings up on either side of the middle so then it looks like this here where they're bent up on either side of the middle. And then I'm going to glue them randomly around my ring.
that looks like and I like how it turned out. I don't think I want to add any greenery to it. However, you could take some of the Pussy Willow and slide it in in a couple of spots and I think that would be really pretty. So I'm going to do that. I did also peel off a couple of the smaller green pieces but I don't really think it needs it. So I'm just going to cut off some of these branches and tuck them in here and there and probably only like four or five of them and then call it a day and this is done. You can use it as a wreath on the door. I think it's really pretty or you can use it in a piece as a centerpiece and that will work out as well. Okay, for my next DIY, we're going to be utilizing one of the rings from the 3D Reform. These are the 10 inch reef form for this. I already had one that I took pieces out of and as you can see, the end of it where it connects is already snapped loose. Now there are these little rings on here on each side. So I am going to attempt to just bend those off. You're going to put some beads on and I grabbed out some of my favorite butterflies out of the blue green pack that I have only and I'm going to string beads in a pattern. I have three different sizes. I think these are about 12 inch or millimeter beads and these are 16 and these are definitely 20. I have a few of those in there. I'm going to string a pattern of beads on here and then after I have the beads on where I want them. I'm going to leave a few spaces to put some butterflies on this reef. And I have two of each one out because I'm going to back them so they will look more 3D. Okay, I actually pulled them off with pliers and it didn't give me any rough edges, luckily. And so now we're going to string beads on here. camera was not recording when I glued these two pieces back together on this one and on this one since I have this huge gap this is really easy to do you may have seen me do this in another video but what I'm going to do for this one like I did that one is I'm going to take my big glue gun that has Gorilla Glue in it and I'm going to put some glue across where it's connected and I'm going to make it pretty flat because I need to be able to put beads over that and I'm going to let it dry on this side and once it's completely dry then I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. However, I'm going to take a piece of floral wire and I'm using this really thick floral wire that I have here. I've already cut off a piece to show you and I'm going to make it long enough that it will go across where it's connected and be able to slide in beads on either side to reinforce that area. Then I'm going to slide the beads all the way across it. Now on this one it is connected right in here and then I glued this bead and this bead to the end as you can see because I don't want them to slide down and cover this hole because that is the section we're going to use to decorate. The beads everywhere else still roll around except for where they are glued together and that is right here. These don't turn but all of these do. But it doesn't make a difference because they're not meant to turn. This is just a little reef that has a butterfly theme that's going to be hanging somewhere that no one's going to be doing anything with. So now even though I think I would normally let it dry a little bit longer 
just to show you how to do this, I flip it over and this time I want to glue down this piece of floral wire. this is all I'm gonna to do to it I wanted to add some ribbon and you could easily add some pretty ribbon hanging down from the bottom if you wanted but I think it kind of takes away from it I think it's just really pretty by itself I know if you are not new to my channel you're like what a Lacey Space video where she doesn't go all extra on everything, but I think it looks really nice just the way it is. And so we're going to leave this one just the way it okay, is. Okay, so here is what the back looks like. I did not like that it was so untidy. This is the front and this is how I would put it, but I decided to put fishing wire on it. And so I thought, oh, if someone wanted to hang it like this, you could put another big butterfly on the back, but I don't want to waste another one of my big ones. So I'm going to actually just put a smaller one of the same thing here in the middle on the back. And I think that will work out just fine for me not liking that it looks a little messy. I don't want to put anything else back there. So I'm just going to use a smaller version 